I'm gonna be testing out four temporary hair dyes. I'm somebody who does not want to permanently dye my hair, but these temporary dyes could be a fun way to switch up the color whenever I want to. The dyes I'm going to be testing out are Manic Panic's Dye Hard, Good Dye Young's Poser Paste, Gemini Naturals Get Hued, and Mofajang. I'm going to be testing out the hair dyes on their color payoff, their transfer proofness, and how easily they wash out. All of these hair dyes are also in different price ranges, so we'll see if the quality of the dye changes with the price point. The first temporary dye that I'm gonna try out is this one from Gemini Naturals, and it's their Get Hued collection, and it's in the shade Cobalt. In order to test out all of these dyes on their transfer proofness, I am going to invite a very tall friend wearing a very white t-shirt into the studio, hug him, and we'll see if any of this dye transfers onto his shirt. I don't see anything. Kind of a little. In the center, you can see like the slightest tinge of blue like right here and here. like very slightly. That is really impressive. So the Gemini Naturals hued up was actually really great, even though I was really disappointed in how much product you actually go through. At least I do, because I'm somebody with very thick hair. Not a lot transferred onto Grant's shirt when I did my little hugging test. It's definitely not the easiest to wash out. But I do have to say, I am not shampooing my hair in my workplace bathroom. I am just rinsing it with the water from the sink and seeing how much comes out with that. Next up, I am gonna try Manic Panic's Die Hard in the shade Electric Flamingo. And it is electric. This is the pinkest pink I think I've ever seen in my life. I've heard of Manic Panic before, I never tried any of their products, but they're a very well-known hair coloring, dyeing brand. Hug me, brother. Hug me, brother! Yep, there's definitely pink. Not here, but we see it here. And then I saw some right here on his sleeve. So the Die Hard actually rinsed out of my hair fairly quickly, definitely a lot quicker than the Get Hued one. I think that the color Although it was not what I expected it to be, it was definitely not pink on my hair color. It was still pretty cool. I was expecting a little bit more from the color payoff just because Manic Panic is like known for these extremely like pigmented dyes, but I'm also a brunette. It doesn't really work the same for me and I should have known better. I should have known that that pink was not gonna happen on my hair. Next up, I'm gonna try out the Mofajang hair coloring material. Now, I've done a video on this product in the past. Ew! I don't like what it just did to my hair. The weird thing about Mofajang is that I can't find its like original source. There's no like online Mofajang store where you can order this stuff from. I found it on Amazon for $7.99, so that makes this one our cheapest hair dye of the day. When I first tried the Mofajang, I really didn't hate it, but I did hate the way it felt when it dried, and this time it was no different. It does dry to like this really crunchy, hard texture that is just not pleasant. I don't think anybody wants hard, crunchy hair. But it did have a really nice color payoff, and it rinsed out in the sink fairly quickly. The final temporary dye that I'm gonna be trying out is the Poser Paste from Good Dye Young. This is actually Haley Williams' hair dye company. Haley Williams, Paramore. We all know her, we all love her. The color that I got is called Cowabunga, which is so fun, because it's green, just like the Mutant Ninja Turtles. Just looking at it inside the jar, it does look like a much more dry formula than the rest of the colors. I, 
I feel like I look like the Joker. Okay, the final hug. Here we go. Oh my God, I'm flaking everywhere. It's disgusting! You can see the green flakes. My hair texture in this moment feels so terrible and dry and like there's some weird film on my hair. It feels awful. I cannot wait to go home and use the deepest of conditioners on my hair because right now it just feels dead. It feels terrible right now. After trying out all four of these temporary hair dyes, I think that I've finally come to a winner. And that winner is the Get Hued by Gemini Naturals. Even though it is the most expensive hair dye that I tried out today, it performed really well overall. The color payoff was actually great and I thought that the blue really stood out against my dark hair. I think that between the color and the formula, it performed really, really well. When it came to the transfer proof test, the blue really did not rub off at all. It was barely noticeable, really hard to see. So it definitely did really well with that. It did give me a bit of a hard time when I was rinsing it out, but it definitely was not the worst. I used way less of the Get Hued in the end than I did with the Die Hard, which tells me that I get more bang for my buck with the Get Hued. I definitely have to give second place to Manic Panic's Die Hard. This one was a really great formula and an even cheaper price point than Get Hued, but my problem with it was that I had to use more of the Die Hard than I did with the Get Hued in order to have a really good color payoff. The Mofajang was fine. I still to this day do not like how it leaves my hair feeling all dry and crunchy, so I would definitely put it at third place. Biggest loser today was obviously the Poser Paste. It was an okay color payoff. I feel like the green did look kind of vibrant against my hair, but when it came to transfer proofness and washing it out, it just, it failed. It failed miserably. So when it comes to temporary hair dyes, I say spend a little more for a product that performs better and try out Get Hued.